Stable Diffusion 3 is here. You can now download Stable Diffusion on your local machine and you can run it. It's a most weighted Stable Diffusion version. It was coming before and you can use it with API. But today, Stable Diffusion 3 is available to download and run on local PCs. And it's amazing. You can see I generated a few pictures with Stable Diffusion and the text is really good. What I wanted, it can give you that. So let's get started with Stable Diffusion. To get the Stable Diffusion 3, we need to go to the Hugging Face. We can download it from Hugging Face. And if you go to the models, you will get it in the top because this is recently updated, uploaded. So if you don't get it here, just search it in the models and you will get the Stable Diffusion 3 medium version. And if you go there, here is the options. You can read this, but I want to focus in one thing that is the model sources. You can see, you can run it with Confi UI and Stable Swarm UI. So the Stable Swarm UI is using Confi UI in the backend. So I will show you how to use Stable Warm UI in separate video, but we will use Confi UI to run this. And there is a good thing here. If you go to the files and versions, you can download the uh, models. So the first one is SD3 Medium Safe Tensors. This is the main model. And here it is coming with the clips option. So the clips are included into the model and this one is coming with the text uh, one. So you can download it also. This is uh, 10 gigabyte. It contains everything. So whatever you want, you can download. So I will download all of them. So let's uh, start with the SD3 medium. And you can see the download started. I will not show you the download uh, thing. I will fast forward it. I have already downloaded all the three models. The same model, different things. So uh, if I go to the download folder, you can see I already download uh, all the models. Now, if you go to the text encoders, you can see there is some clip G, clip L safe tensors and the text safe tensors for the 16 and 18. Let's download everything here again. Now, I already download everything. You can see here, I already download the models and the uh, text encoders, the clip G, L, and FP16, FP8. So I downloaded everything. So let's put it to the Confi UI folder. So if I open another file explorer, I need to go, I'm running Confi UI with uh, WSL. So I'm going with the WSL folder and go to the home, take charters with the ML folder and here is the Confi UI. So I'm going to the Confi UI and to the models. And here is the checkpoints. I don't have anything here. So I'm just putting all the models. So please remember the first three are the models. I'm pasting the models here. The models are copied to the checkpoint folder. And if I go to the clip option, I will copy and paste all the clip the text encoders thing uh, to the clip folder. So let's paste it. So the clips uh, models are already pasted. So let's close it. We are ready to run. So here uh, I'm going to start the Confi UI. So let's open WSL. It'll open WSL and took me to the home directory. So I'm going to the directory where I installed this. I need to uh, activate the Conda environment. So let's activate it. And now I can run Python main.py. So here it is. Let's open Confi UI. I don't have any uh, workflow right now. So I'm going to show you the best thing of this model here. If you go to the Hugging Face place, you can see the Confi UI uh, example workflows. Just click here 
and you will get the workflows. The basic workflows are made for you. So you don't need to do anything, just you need to download this, okay? And that's all. So that's one of the best thing of this model. Now let's open the Confi UI again. And I already downloaded all the workflow. So let's open these and let's open with the basic workflow first. Okay, so the workflow is opened. And if I come here, it'll show me the load checkpoint options. If I click here, I can see all the models I pasted to the model checkpoint folder. So let's uh, say check the SD3 medium one. And if I just zoom it here, you can see the triple clip loader. From here, we need to uh, select the clips we downloaded already and put it to the clips folder. So let's click here and we need to see, check the G1 and here is the L1. And here you can select FP8 or FP16. So I'm going with the FP16, it's already downloaded. So that's it. That's all we need to do. Now, if I run this command, it'll work. So here you can see it's loading the model first time definitely it'll take some time and of course here is uh, the default prompt i'm generating with the default prompt now you can see it's the iteration is 4.46 around 5 uh, it's uh, i'm using rtx 4080 super which is 16 gb of vram and it's pretty fast in my opinion it's really fast so let's see here is the image so it's really, really great. So let's uh, try the another one. Let's load the model and let's w uh, run this one. Multi-prompt, let's do this. And the same thing. Here is the multi-prompt. This is, here is the difference, but this one is same. So we need to select, let's see the clip option. Check it. Here is the G. L and here is the FP16 and let's run it. Again, it'll load the model. Now you can see the iteration time is a little bit low because uh, I choose the bigger model. Okay, the image is generated. That's great. So let's again load another one that is the upscaling version. So let's open it. So here we need, again, we need to change everything. So let's uh, select the safe tensors model and here the G and L and here is FP16. Now there is one thing, load the upscale model. We need to download this one. So let's go to the manager, uh, install models. And here I can search upscaler. And if you see, here is the 4X Ultra Sharp, which is actually using here. So let's download this. It'll not take, it's installed already because I already downloaded it. So just install it and refresh and it'll be ready. So let's uh, select this 4X Ultra Sharp and that close it and let's run it again. So again, it'll load the model and everything. And you can see when I uh, choose the smaller model, uh, because uh, I don't need to select the like the heavier models because I already put triple clipper and put them there. If you don't have this triple loader, you can definitely use uh, the biggest one. I will show you that one also. Here it is. So it's great picture. And here is the upscaler model. It's upscaling now. And here you can see the upscaling process. Okay, so the upscaling model and it really looks great. The upscaling model and the real picture is also great and they are 1024 uh, by 1024. So that's, that's really great. Okay. Now let's load the default Confi UI workflow. It is actually by default when you install the Confi UI, it'll come with that. So here is the simple one. Uh, I will paste the same prompt here. Okay, now the thing is, 
uh, you you can see in the previous uh, uh, workflow that we have triple clip option. Here we don't have this. So in that case, I will load the SD medium including clips and text. Okay, so I will run this now and I will make it to 1024 because Stable Diffusion 3 is coming with 1024 by default. So let's run it and you can see the model is loaded now. Okay, so this is also great. You can see this is really great image. So that's the thing you can run immediately Stable Diffusion 3 on your computer. So let's uh, again load the multi-prompt version or the basic version, okay? Why I'm loading this? Because I want to show you some more things here. Let's open, let's zoom this a little bit here. And I'm just uh, selecting everything. Okay. Now, if I go to the Hugging Face Place, here is the some more exciting things. If you click the SD3 demo prompt, you can get some prompt here. So let's check the second one. The first one is already coming with the model, uh, like the workflow. So here is the second one. Let's paste it and let's run it. And when it is generating, let's go there and copy another one. And wait until it is done. So let's check the, it's 4.79 iteration and it's great. Tiger warrior, full armor, close up in the middle of the battle. Behind there is a banner with the text open source. So that's really not correct. Let's uh, generate it again with a different, let's make it random. It'll generate the image again with separate seed. And now it's fine. In the previous other models, you will not get the uh, text correct, but Stable Diffusion 3, it's really much better than those. So let's uh, paste the another one. I just copied from that. So let's run this. And definitely it will take less time because the model is already loaded. SD3, it's really great. So it can actually read uh, the prompt very nicely. Dog and a cat both standing on a red box, that's good. With a blue ball, yeah, that's right. The middle with a parrot standing on top of the ball. The box has the text SD3. So we don't have the parrot here. I think it's mixed up here somehow. So without that, it's actually really great and of course you need to remember this is uh, AI generated image you need to generate multiple times to get the best result yeah parrot is not in on the ball but it's here so it's working and specifically you can see the text is working perfectly so that's that's the great thing for SD3 and I was waiting for this for a long time it was open for the API but today, just few hours ago, they released this and the Hugging Face play page is awesome because it gives you everything you need to run. I'm not a specialist on AI image generation. So I was thinking how I need to make the workflow, where I can get the workflows and everything. So this uh, Hugging Face repository actually made my life easy. You can get everything here. You can download the models, the clips, and the Confui examples. So the workflow is ready. And you can also run the demo scripts from here. So that's, that's great. That's really great. And let's run it again before ending the video. Another prompt. Because it, 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 it really fun to run those uh, prompts with the text. That's the speciality for this and uh, it works really great. Fresh from oven. So there is extra C, but hopefully after generating few image, it will be great. It will be giving me the right answer. 
So thank you for watching today. Hopefully you can run this on your local PC and you have everything ready here. That's the great thing. And uh, so hopefully you will like this video. And if you like this video, please like this video and also subscribe to my channel. It will help me to grow my channel and have a good day.